Guys, I'm Commander Cody here. I wanna teach you guys on um, a simple thing. Sorry about that. Um, how to draw. Uh, <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> Sorry. Um, how to draw a easy 3D bookshelf. Um, I don't know why nobody really put this up. I mean, like it's easy. I've only saw a lot of video when they don't even do it like regular real life. They um do it in um uh, what's called uh, on the computer, but yeah, and anyways, um, just, um, let's say this first before we begin, be begin, sorry, um, I might be making more of these how to draw little things, and I might be drawing other things, because I want to draw a little, I don't want to start a little series, I want to be putting up more just random videos, so that's for you who's listening, if Tommy you're listening, Steven you're listening, you let me listening, or Chris if you're listening, <laughs> okay, so, let's begin. You can use a ruler, that's if you want to get it more perfect, or I'm just using it, because I feel like it. Yes, it's a little kid's ruler. A ruler's a ruler. Okay, well, let me just fix the camera. If it blurs out, I'm sorry, I don't know why it's been doing that a couple of times, and I haven't even been touching it. And um, you can leave in the comment section what you want me to do, but don't make it too hard, because I mean, I'm good at draw. I'm pretty good at drawing, but like I would usually draw more like realistic things but um leave it in the comment section what else you would like me to draw and i'll see what i can do um so let's begin you first make a rectangular shape doesn't have to be too big too small whatever so i'm just gonna make size but you want to have a, a little over about an inch or so on the top space left because that's going to be the top of the bookshelf making it 3D. Okay? So then we're going to bring it across. And same thing with here, you want to have like an inch or so space for you can make it 3D. So let me just bring this down. Sorry, I'm getting in the way. I'm just bringing it down. Down, 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 down. I suggest you want to have an eraser if you're like you're not the best at making lines and making mistakes a lot. I mean, well, I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> Usually, people that have pencils have erasers. Okay, well, it's kind of boxy, but whatever, we'll deal with it. Now, we're going to take the top and make it 3D. So first, to make the top 3D, you want to bring it across, kind of, like a half a triangle. Uh, about a quarter inch. You don't have to be perfect, so you don't have to, like, measure everything. So I'm just going to make it that long, whatever that long is, but you can make it however long you want. Just don't make it, like, too long. Well, I guess you can if you want to make it, a, but whatever. Just make it a little long, not too long. Next, you just do the same thing. Make it as best as you can as the same. I think that's about it. Yeah. And now you take your ruler or just yourself and hold on one sec. Let me just fix this. Oops. Sorry, I'm not really... Uh, yeah, and then just cross it over and connect the two tops. And as you can see, it's kind of making the shape of it. And the inside's going to be actually a pretty fun part, too. Um, and I'll teach you how to draw the books, too, because it's kind of really easy as well. So then, you go the same thing with the bottom, but this time you're bringing it up, making the same kind of shape. You might want to... You want to be, like pitch perfect, I mean, you don't have to be, but you do whatever you want, however you want to make this, you can, I'm trying to be as best as I can, because I know there's a lot of um, picky people that, no offense if you are a person that's like, ew, he drew that weird, ew, he drew it too far, ew, that looks gay, that looks wrong, that doesn't, that looks stupid. Come on, really? Okay, um, this is the next part, which is actually kind of the easiest part. You're like, oh no, the bookshelves, I don't know how to make 3D, how you do that, that's gonna be hard. No, it's really easy, guys, really easy. So moving on, you take the bottom, go just a tiny, tiny bit up. So make that little, a little gap like that, right there, a little gap like that. You can make it a little bigger if you want to. I'm just gonna keep it that size. I'm gonna cross it over. And that's the bottom of the bookshelf. I'm not being perfect, okay? Now that you do the same thing with the top, the top, we're gonna to do the same thing. Going down a little bit. Make a little. Can't really see. Oh, I'm an idiot. No, I'm not. Uh, 
Sorry. It's hard to see with the camera in my way. Um, you're probably like, oh no, it's not. It looks easy to me. No. So you want to bring it again, like maybe an inch. Why did I do that? I don't know. Like an inch or a half or an inch and a half or a quarter down. And then you want to make two more lines like that thick. No, but I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to free run it. Yeah, Assassin's Creed free running. Yeah, I might be doing more Assassin's Creed videos. So I'm trying to get a little bit of like all kinds of videos because I just want to test everything out and see which one I like the most, which things I want to do. I think I might be definitely doing Minecraft, but that I'm not sure because the 1.8 thing came out. I did make a thing. Um, it's called Village in Half, and just check it out, guys. I don't know what the heck happened to one of my world that was spun like that. It was kind of weird, actually. Play the truth. If you think, oh no, we probably just destroyed it. I didn't destroy it a thousand times. Okay, so this one, yeah, I, 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 you don't really have to care. Sorry, I'm kind of interrupting with random things. You don't have, you don't really have to care how big they are, thick they are. But if you want to, you can go ahead. But right now, I'm just trying to make it simple. So then you make another one of those skinny lines. You can fast forward through this if you want to, because I, I can't really speed it up. Because I don't, I'm not sure how to do that. Because I use my iPad. I'm gonna make one more right there. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Derp, derp. Remember, guys, again, I'm not being perfect, so this is probably going to be one of the smallest book shows ever. Ever, ever. Yeah, whatever. That's small. Okay. So, this side, you want to make sure that you know which side is the, three, the 3D ish side. So, that means you go to the opposite of the 3D side. Remember, the opposite of it. If you don't do the opposite, it'll kind of look weird. So the opposite of it, you go to the corner, you go about halfway up. Again, I'm not going perfect for the thousandth time. I need to shut up now. <laughs> and then you just center it, I guess, and bring it all the way across. All the way across. And no, you don't have to curve it back down. And you do that with all of them. You can speed this part up while I do this. So I'm not going to say anything, probably. Hmm. Um, yeah, okay. So, oh, wait, I forgot something. Yeah, okay, well... Not really. After you do, wait, F, yes, after you do that, I need to shut up. Take that part right there, that corner, and bring it straight up. So you can fast forward while I do this really quickly. Or you can watch me do it. Oh, okay, so there you go. That is the bookshelf. Now, like, that's practically it. I don't know if it might look a little weird on the camera, but you're just going to look closely. You'll get it. Um, wow, this video's kind of long. Okay. Um, so then I'm just going to show you quickly a quick book or a couple books, and then I'm going to end the video. So first you find a spot where you want to books. I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to draw, again, regular just triangle, nothing special. I'm not going to be drawing this very neat because this video is kind of long. Then you can make a fat book, a little book that's really skinny, and after you do that, remember, I know I'm kind of drawing really sloppy, but sorry. I wanted to erase the line that's in there, fix it up a little bit. Oh, I was kind of really bad, sorry guys. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to take it, go out, go out, and wait, yeah, cross it back in. So you almost want to make it like a real book effect. And you bring it down. And do the same thing with this one. Bring it down. Down. Yeah, I'm kind of really sloppy with this. And you bring it like that. Oops, sorry. I'm messing things up. I'm just trying to hurry. You want to do the same thing like that. Like that. Bring it up. Kind of like books. Sorry, that was really sloppy, but you can fix it. But that's how you draw a bookshelf. That's pretty much it, guys. So, it's a traditional ending. Oh, that was right. Bye.